Hi, this is Wafi, and I'll be going over one of the extra activities of lesson four of the Stencil Educators Kit. So by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to create power-ups which allow you to move twice as fast, and those power-ups will wear off uh, after a certain amount of time. Okay, so let's uh, open up the game. Project four, here we go. So if we follow along uh, with the PDF right here, uh, we want to make a power-up that when collected, the player walks twice as fast for a limited amount of time. And it gives us a little hint that we need to uh, create a behavior and use some of those tabs right there. So first things, let's create our actor behavior called uh, power-up, create. And right away, I want to attach this to the hero. I always forget to do that later on, so I'll do it right away. And we want to have it so our power-up will be activated. This behavior will be activated when our hero hits the power-up. So it's going to be a collision with the two things coming together. And I like using this type type. So we have hero hits. Well, we don't have our power-up, so we got to go and make our power-up here. Let's just give ourselves a little bit more room. So I want to create a new actor here. And I'll just call it... Uh, well, I can't call it power up, it's spelled the same way, but uh, I'll just do lowercase. And I want to give this an animation, so let's just quickly go on to Google. Uh, let's give ourselves, make ourselves a star, uh, PNG. And let's grab this one here. I found this one worked well for me. I'll just save this image. And I'll throw it into Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, that's okay. You can use uh, GIMP or some, some other uh, freeware. But uh, if you have Photoshop, then that's great. I just want to delete the background. Whoops, let's unlock this. Delete the background. And I want to resize this image here. If I go to image size, I want it to be 128 pixels. So one block and stencil is 32 but i don't want to be four times that and i'll show you in one second so star one i'll save this as a png and it's png so that way we have this transparent background it keeps a transparent background and what i'm going to do here is just uh, adjust the the lighting to make it a little bit brighter and i'll save this again as star two and I'll save this PNG again. Whoops, that wasn't the PNG. Save as PNG. Awesome. So let's go uh, enter our animations in. So our first one here, we choose image. Uh, I did 128 pixels because it's four four times uh, normal. I scaled up four times. So 32 times four is 128. So I'll choose my image, uh, downloads. And there we have my star, add again. Let's go star two. Okay, and we see right here we have this flashing star. Adds a little groove to it. And what we wanna make sure is that there is a collision zone. So right now we have a box collision zone. That's okay if you were gonna make this for an actual game you would probably want to adjust that so it's more realistic. Okay, we have power up right here. Good. So what do we want to happen? When our hero hits the power up, what's the first thing that happens? We want to kill the second actor. Okay, we don't want that star to be still there. Next, we want to increase our speed. So we're going to have to use one of these uh, blocks that they suggest for us. Okay. And this is under the behavior category. So go to behaviors and attributes right here. So for actor one. And so what this is doing, this is grabbing the attribute, the local attribute from a different behavior. Okay, so from walking speed, we have this uh, walking movement, sorry, four way movement, we have this walking speed attribute. And that there, if I can show you really quickly, can be set, it can be changed. 
So based on the walking speed, I want to increase my power up two times. So we need to use this uh, this attribute right here, or this this variable, right? Attributes are just the way uh, Stencil calls their variables. Okay, and notice how when I went down here, I chose this attribute. It fills in this right here, walking speed. It fills in four-way movement from this behavior. That needs to be spelled out exactly as it's shown there. Um, if I go to the four-way movement, you can see that this is the eternal internal name. That's exactly what needs to show up right there. Okay. And so, what do we want to change it to? We wanna we wanna double it, right? So we're gonna need to grab a multiplication block. So we want to do two times. So the question is, what do we put here? Could we just copy and paste this here like that? Would that work? No, that doesn't work. There's a there's an X there. It's not going to work out. We actually have to use this get block right here. So this is a get block. Uh, the set block has a little notch. So let's go. We see it right here. So this here, if we do for second actor, get. And so what we're doing, we're just getting this walking speed at that current moment. Let's just plop it in there. Let's go full screen. So we're getting this walking speed at the moment, and we're going to multiply it by two. So let's just test this out. And let's just think about what's the next thing we have to do. So we want to do this for a certain amount of time. They suggest, you know, such as 10 seconds. So we need to have some other time block down there. Uh, that will count down. Okay, so let's test this out. And I stop walking. That's probably because my get block here did not work. Just one second. Now, let me see right here. I said second actor. I'm sure some of you caught my mistake. Let's test that out again. And again, like I said, we're going to need some time countdown. Uh, some do after so much time right underneath here uh, but first let's test this make sure it works uh, there we go so we go faster and we notice that you know it multiplies more and more and more depending on how many power-ups we have and it doesn't stop great okay so we want to do something after a certain amount of time let's just say three seconds so we don't have to wait or wait around for so long we want our t our our power up to wear off so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this out because it's uh, a lot of similarities. The one thing that different is different is is right um, right here, and I get, I'm getting a little glitch here, so maybe I won't copy that. All right, yeah, stencil. So we go for sir, first actor. We want to change the walking speed, and instead of multiplying it by two, what's the opposite of multiplication? Yeah, you got it, division. So we're going to divide our current speed by two, right? So we multiply it by two. Once we got the power up, we go here, it undoes it. Okay. And if you hit, hit three power ups, um, it'll be three seconds after you hit those specific power ups. Okay. So let's try this out and make sure that it does work. And let's check if there's anything else. No, I think that is it for the power-ups, let's make sure this works. Okay, so I hit this power-up, count one, two, three, and I start slowing down. And notice how they do stack, but three seconds after I hit the first one, it'll wear down, and three seconds after I hit the second down, it will wear right off. Awesome. Okay, so that is pretty much it for creating the power-ups, uh, making sure that we're able to grab attributes or variables from other behaviors to use in another specific behavior. Um, this second extra activity here it says fake power up. It says use the same behavior before, uh, but just make a p fake power up that slows the player down for a limited time. How do we do that? Simple. Grab this, grab that, do a little swap. Okay. Notice how he, if when I now grab this power up, my speed goes in half, and then after three seconds, it will be multiplied. So very similar. Once you know how to do one, you can do the other. So let's just try this out. And our slow behavior uh, character gets even painfully slower. 
That is brutal. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you learned a lot today. Uh, if you have any questions or you want me to cover something else within Stencil, I'll just put it in the comments below. I'll be getting on to the last of these extra activities in another video, intro title. I uh, hope to see you there.